So what is the difference between Derwent watercolor pencils and Derwent ink tint pencils? Although they're both applied the same way, there are a few differences. I'll do two simple landscapes using each medium to illustrate the differences. In this first picture, I'll use Derwent watercolor pencils. Generally speaking, watercolor pencils are more subtle in color than ink tint pencils. Once you apply water with a paintbrush or however, the colors wash and they tend to dry lighter than what you might expect. So if you're needing a darker tone, then make sure you apply the color heavier. And whether you're using watercolor or ink tints, they are both applied the same way you would use a regular colored pencil. It's okay to color over your other colors with watercolor pencils. You don't have to use great detail because once you use your paintbrush with the water, that's when the picture really comes alive. And you'll see in a minute what I'm talking about. I'm not using a lot of detail for this mountain scene. I really just want to show you the basics and to give you an idea of how this medium works. I'm going to use various greens for trees and pasture land just to give you an idea of the varying tones you can get once you add the water. And you can see once I apply the water it washes immediately and becomes a little darker. With watercolor pencils I rarely have trouble with streaking or leaving lines in my painting when I apply the water. I find the colors are very soluble and they wash very easily. Watercolor pencils are very versatile. It's easy to mix the colors and even once the picture dries if you go back later with more water the, the painting will come back to life and you can move color around. This is not the case with ink tints pencils. And you can see already, just by applying the water, the colors come off softer than what you might expect. So here's the finished product with watercolor pencils. Now I'll do a similar portrait with Derwood ink tints pencils, just to show you the difference. Another simple mountain scene. Again, not a lot of detail, just illustrating the differences in color. Remember, with ink tints pencils, once your painting dries, it's permanent, just like ink, hence the name. So, if your picture is dry and you want to come back later and add more water, hope to erase color is not going to work. On the other hand, once the colors are permanent, once the painting is dried, you can add layers and layers, as many layers of colors as you want to on top. Just make sure your painting's dried, or you might tear your paper. With both watercolor pencils and ink tints pencils, I use a heavy grade watercolor paper. It's just for that purpose, because when you apply the water, the paper tends to buckle or wrinkle if you don't have a heavier grade. I use Strathmore cold press and I find that works really well for watercolor. And you can see immediately the difference between ink tints and watercolor once you add the water. It's obviously a lot more vivid, a lot brighter with ink tints. So it's just up to you, it's what you need for your painting, how you want it to turn out. If you need something more subtle, probably watercolor pencils is the way to go. If you want something more bright with a lot of color contrast then ink tints pencils might be the way for you to go. It's just up to you. Now I do find with ink tints pencils that they dry a lot faster once you start adding the water. And that can leave streaks. You can see there are streaks in my sky here. And that works okay for the sky because it can easily be 
you know, maybe it's clouds. It's an interesting effect. And you can always go back on top of the wet paper and add more color and then go back with water and blend it in a little bit better. But like I said, it does tend to dry really quickly, so be careful of that. These mountains just are so bright once you add the water. I love working with ink tense pencils. I love working with watercolor pencils. I think they're both really wonderful mediums to use. And often when I'm doing illustrations for children's books, I use both interchangeably in the same pictures. So here we have the finished product, the watercolor painting on the left and the ink tense pencils on the right. Which do you prefer? I recommend both. They're both a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.